Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over some seismic notes. We'll look at some severe weather. We'll hit two foreign language papers of interest here, and we're going to round up with a breakthrough in human magnetic sense. But let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star, where the calm continues. Solar flaring remains low. Coronal hole solar wind stream produced only minor geomagnetic instability and is waning back now. We've got plenty to watch for, but thus far, the eruptive activity has been very low. There are still several plasma filaments in Earth-directed position were they to erupt today. We're watching those closely and, of course, the sunspots as well. Small groups spread around. Minor complexity here, minor growth there. Looks like lots of eager spots trying to develop, but it does take time. We'll be watching that today, but now we take a quick peek at the solar wind. Purple panel, second from the bottom, you see the peak and beginning descent of the plasma speed peak in the solar wind due to the coronal hole stream geomagnetic activity waning back now too. Seismicity up next. Italy and Greece wake back up after a day's break. Santorini getting loud again. Iran above average and then India. Folks, a magnitude 4 event, which is not huge, struck inside the city of New Delhi where 33 million people call home. Apparently there was chaos and panic, but just due to the surprise. Damage was minimal. Up next, folks, the winter storm that whipped through was as bad as everyone thought it would be. Significant issues as a levee failed, temperatures plummeted, and ice covered everything. After that convergence line of storms passed, the freeze slid in behind it. First up in the science articles today comes from Latin America, confirming in one fell swoop the mountain of agricultural correlations with solar activity. Nearly every crop, nearly every metric, everywhere they looked. The temperatures and rainfall were almost entirely decided by solar modulation over Central America and the Caribbean. Up next, now we're in Russian. And based on a strange combination of analyses, they determined that not only was the 1859 solar superflare Carrington event a major blast, but there was a severe comet dust field that the Earth was passing directly through at that same time. The hypothesis is that the solar flare was so powerful it plasmified the comet dust adding to a CME that was vastly outsized to begin with. And lastly, folks, magnetic field shifts actually impact human visual motion perception. It's not something you can consciously notice, but they used confusing motions to demonstrate it. So for example, this is the dual axis optical illusion. Some of you see it spinning to the right, others to the left, and neither of you is wrong. That's the point. It's all about which half of this thing your brain thinks is in the foreground versus the background. And if you take a thousand people, have them do this before and after a change in the local magnetic field, their answers will change. Wild stuff, folks. And we got a conference coming up this weekend. Check out the events page, The Observer Bot, our books and merchandise, and of course, book your reservation to come see us. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.